get out your pitchforks and torches. Time for tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze, Brian Kilmeade of Fox Pack. You remember this burst of verbal flatulence from Friday? Not every Muslim's an extremist, a terrorist, but every terrorist is a Muslim. You can't avoid that fact. Mr. Kilmeade has apparently been forced by his employers to make a half-flatulent apology for his blatant racism and Islamophobia. I said this, not all Muslims are terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims. Well, I misspoke. I don't believe all terrorists are Muslims. I'm sorry about that if I offended or, uh, offended or hurt anybody's uh, feelings. Now, what I should have said, and I'd like to clarify, is uh, all terrorists who killed us on 9-11 with the coal and the coal bar and the 98 embassies, that's what I should have said. But they were all Muslim. That's the only thing they had in common. But all terrorists aren't Muslim. So I apologize to anybody that was offended by that, but I also want to emphasize that I said all Muslims aren't terrorists because they're not. You didn't say that. You didn't say anything close to that, and you're lying when you say you did. And once again, an apology consists of the words, I apologize, not I apologize if. The runner-up, Alan West, possibly the most damaged of all the Tea Party candidates in this country, to his varied titles of having disgraced us in Iraq by threatening to shoot an interrogation subject, to his demand that his supporters make his opponent in the race for the House in the 22nd District of Florida, afraid to leave his own home, we can now add this. Mr. West's contributions for Wheels on the Road magazine, a biker publication promoting the gang The Outlaws, accused by the Justice Department of meth production, arson, homicide, and prostitution. Mr. West did not write this, but here is something from the new October issue. It's so disrespectful, I won't read it aloud. You read it. Campaigning with Mr. West last week was Minority Leader John Boehner. But our winner, Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, a doubleheader from an interview with Paranoia.com, better known as World Net Daily. Question, if you could sit down to dinner with any eight people who ever lived, and they could all, for this one occasion, speak English, who would be on your guest list? Answer, Jesus, George Washington, Adam, the first man, the Apostle Paul, Johann Sebastian Bach, and Coulter, Ronald Reagan, and Mark Levin. It would be a very interesting combination. Yes, Reagan would turn back into a Democrat. Washington would read her his farewell address warning against forming political parties. Adam would reconsider celibacy. Paul would announce he'd gone blind again. Bach would try to play the harpsichord loud enough to drown out her voice. Coulter would question Jesus' sexuality. Levin would run out on the check. And Jesus would shout, get these out of here. Do not make the House of Representatives a house of morons. And then turn over the table. You know, like in the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Part two, World Net Daily also asked, question, if with a snap of your fingers you could change anything about America, what would it be? Answer, reduce the federal government to its original size and constitutional limitations and to restore the Ninth and Tenth Amendments. Original size would presumably be the government after the first Senate convened in 1789. That would mean only 26 senators, only 69 congressmen, and there are only 13 states and thus no representatives from Minnesota. And the government only attends to the needs of what the population of the country was back then, 4 million. Original constitutional limitations would mean there's no Bill of Rights, slavery is legal, and women can't vote. Michelle, do you ever get the feeling she should be going not to Congress, but to a sixth grade American history class, Bachman, today's worst person in the world?